scrutinizing where your tax dollars are going. The group OpenTheBooks.com is digging into the city's finances. CEO Adam Andievsky is joining us now to discuss their latest investigation into the city's outgoing finance director and his pension. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Good morning. So tell us what you found out about the cost to taxpayers here. Well, uh, Henry Raymond is a highly compensated City of Baltimore employee. And last year, we found that he makes north of $233,000. And I just want to put that big salary in perspective. He not only out-earns the mayor of Baltimore, who makes a little less than $200,000, but he also out-earned every governor of the 50 states. So it's a big salary. And so we estimated his pension. A, a one week from today, he's going to be retired. And our auditors at OpenTheBooks.com estimated that he'll retire on a pension larger than $153,000 a year. And what that means is if Raymond lives to life expectancy of 79, he'll clean off a golden, a golden parachute retirement pension north of $2.1 million. And can you talk about exactly how you got that number? Because you also criticize Maryland law because they don't make pension payouts to public employees public? Right. Yeah, there needs to be a change in the law at the state level in Maryland. So when a public employee retires in Maryland, that's not subject to disclosure. That's not a part of your open records law. And so there needs to be a change in that law because think about it. Taxpayers help fund those public pensions. We guarantee 100 percent of those public pensions, but we don't get to see it. And even progressive states like California, New York, Illinois, Oregon, for crying out loud, when a public employee retires, it's disclosed. So Maryland needs to have a change in their transparency law. And as part of this, you also looked at another report that ranks U.S. city finances, and you say Baltimore doesn't fare too well. Can you explain that? So Henry Raymond was the chairman of the city public employee uh, public pension plan, and that is underfunded to the tune of $4.5 billion. What it means for every single taxpayer in Baltimore is that they owe a check to fully fund that pension of $21,000 per taxpayer. The group Truth in Accounting labeled that public pension that Raymond presides over as a sinkhole system. And so think about it. Raymond's going to be retiring on a six-figure lucrative public pension a week from now, but he pre presided over a system that's grossly underfunded, and that should trouble the thousands of Baltimore City employees who are depending on that system for their own retirement. All right, Adam Anajewski, CEO of OpenTheBooks.com, thank you for joining us. Thank you.